Let's get straight to Dana Bash now on Capitol Hill. She's standing by with Senator James Lankford, Republican from Oklahoma, who has a new proposal uh, on how he thinks the Senate should handle this Bolton manuscript. Dana. Thanks, Jake. And Senator, thank you so much for joining sure. me. Uh, first, tell us about your proposal is specifically on dealing with the Bolton manuscript. So we, we don't know the Bolton manuscript. The New York Times doesn't know the Bolton manuscript. Someone who has read it has talked to the New York Times reporter who's written a story, and so we're getting bits and pieces. The best way to resolve this is we get a chance to be able to see this. We know a lot of the other statements of John Bolton saying talk to the attorneys and things that have been brought up by the House counsel. But those have all been dismissed and other facts have come to be able to bear those out. What we don't know is about this manuscript and what the details are. So right now it's going through the classification process, the National Security Council, and it's going through all their attorneys there to be able to determine if there's anything not classified in it that, uh, or it is classified that needs to be taken out. So I'm recommending to the House, or the White House, turn it over, put it in one of the skiffs here, and so we can go through it. Even while it's going through the classification process, we can read all of it and see it and see for ourselves if there's anything significant there. And the White House, specifically the NSC, apparently that's where this manuscript lives, they're open to that? I, I don't know. That's what I'm asking. So I'm asking both the uh, White House counsel, I'm asking members of the White House, other folks to say this is a reasonable way to be able to resolve this. We have to resolve in a couple of days if we need witnesses or not. This is an issue that's outstanding that we don't have a good way to be able to answer. We can't say six weeks from now we'll be able to see it. We've got to be able to see it in advance to be able to make that decision on witnesses in a couple of days. So let's game this out. Is your vision to simply read the manuscript and that would be in lieu of John Bolton testifying? No, th this is read the manuscript to be able to see if we need to call John Bolton. So that question's unanswered. We won't, we won't know how to answer that question still till we get through today's testimony, a couple of days still of questions. I'm just saying this needs to be a part of our information so we can make that decision about witnesses. It's interesting because I've talked to several Democrats uh, who have said uh, no, no dice if that was where you were going with right. this. Only read it and that would be sufficient because they argue that as part of your 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 trial process, they need to be able to ask questions. He needs right. to be uh, deposed and also a manuscript is an under oath. Right. Yeah, there, there's no reasonable statement that's been brought up by the House managers at this point to say John Bolton is really required because other than statements that he has said that, that, that they have saying that he said talk to the lawyers. What's well, a very reasonable thing for him to be able to say when you've got Rudy Giuliani who's a private attorney talking to someone official uh, that John Bolton has been around government long enough to know okay we got to keep those two things separate make sure you talk to the lawyers and be able to clear this. That's not an unreasonable statement. There's nothing indicting about this. This statement that's out there from the New York Times is something we need to be able to take a look at and see if it's even accurate. So what you're presenting is uh, obviously intended to be a very reasonable proposal. Right. Just put your political hat on and I'm asking you, I'm going to try to inject a little right. truth serum. Are you hoping that some of the Republicans who are talking about uh, wanting to hear from John Bolton will be satisfied just by reading that and then that will brush the whole at, witness at this question point, Everybody's aside. making their own decisions, honestly. Everybody's making their own decisions. They've got to be able to determine what are they going to do, but this at least allows people to make a decision based on facts that they can actually read the manuscript rather than someone who read it, who reported it to someone who wrote a story and trying to make a decision on that. That's no way to be able to make a decision. Senator, I appreciate it. Thanks for your time. You Thank Thanks. you. Wolf and Jake, back to you.